Being new to mountain biking can be a daunting thing. Lots of sort of shiny things and different things to learn, different skills, but it doesn't have to be. You can literally hop on your bike, get off road, and that is basically mountain biking in a nutshell. But today we are gonna help you with a few little things you can learn before you hit the trails. Okay, so let's kick off with our first of our five things to learn before you hit the trails. And what that's gonna be is some bike maintenance. Now a basic bolt check or an M check, which some people call it. So starting at the back and working your way up, down, up and down, just going over all the bolts, making sure everything's tight, handlebars are straight, headsets not knocking, seats aligned properly. Basic checks just to make sure your bike is safe before you get ripping off road for the first time. So a big problem area that can cause absolute havoc for your ride is the gears. You're gonna to wanna to make sure they're lined up, shifting smoothly and properly, and also that your gear cable itself has not got any abnormal wear or damage to it, and that could snap and right off your ride. So whether you've bought a second hand bike or a brand new bike, just double check that your brakes are set up correctly, front and rear obviously. We don't want the brakes to be rubbing on the pads or that there's no uh, excess pad wear, you've got nothing left. Finally, make sure that there's plenty of life left on those tires, especially if you've brought second hand. You don't want something that's got like worn tile sidewalls on them or no tread left. Now, if you are unsure on any sort of the maintenance tips here, we have got some great simple videos you guys can follow over on GMBN Tech, which will help you run through your entire bike. Now, there is a plethora of trails out there for you to choose from. All the way from a green run to start on, up to those blacks and double black diamonds, but you might want to wait there a little bit. Choosing which trail is essential because you don't want to find yourself on something that is going to be way too hard. At the same time, you want to get fun out of the track, so nothing that's too simple and boring. Let's take a look at what's out there. It's important to start out small. Get on the blue trails that can allow you to enjoy riding at your own pace, but can also give you the chance to push yourself. From there, build up as you feel more and more comfortable and start pushing yourself a bit. Get to know the features you can tackle and what's on the trail, and from there, you can venture onto the reds and the blacks as your confidence builds. Now, what should you take and what shouldn't you take on a ride when you're heading out for those uh, early day rides? Well, we're gonna have a little look at what I think is gonna be really useful to you, because being prepared is always gonna be helpful. So today I'm heading out for a quick blitz of a short ride and I'm gonna be packing fairly lightweight and minimalist today. With me, I'm gonna be carrying my water bottle, an energy bar, I've got a spare tube just in case, which I use this strap to hold it in place on the frame, my multi-tool, and obviously with that spare tube, I need to inflate it so I've got my CO2 canister and adapter. If you don't wanna carry this, a mini pump is also a really good idea. If you're heading out for a longer ride, you might want to think about being a bit more prepared for weather or any other eventuality bike breakages that could happen and a backpack or a bum bag is a really good idea for that. Now we as mountain bikers love to tinker, it's a fact and one you can't avoid I'm afraid. Getting to know your tools is gonna to be really great for just keeping that bike running smoothly and sweetly. Before you go out and ride, after you go out and ride, during your ride, we love to have a tinker with the bikes. Really get to grips with the Allen keys, the Torx bits, chain lube, replacing brake pads, all the little bits that are gonna make your life a lot easier and keep your trusty steed running smoothly. Another great advantage of getting used to using the tools is it's also gonna save you time and money. You'll find yourself becoming more used to how your bike works and what needs to be worked on it, but also a little less reliant on your local bike shop. So any small or minor repairs you can carry out yourself. You've got the bike, you've done your checks, you're about to head out onto the trail, but what do you wear? An essential and one I would not recommend you leave the house or hit the trails without is a helmet. You only get one noggin, so it's well worth protecting it. I'd strongly recommend spending as much as you can comfortably afford on a helmet because uh, it's not an area that's worth scrimping on. Now, one thing I do wish I'd known when I first started riding was the wonders of the bib short and the chamois. 
a solid bib with a good chamois inside it is gonna literally take the sting out of your tail when you're riding, especially when you start going on those longer rides. Technical clothing is a great idea for mountain biking. Jeans and a tee look cool, but let's face it, when it's raining out there, it ain't cool. You're gonna be wet, heavy, and it's just no fun. Getting a good GMBN jersey, a technical riding jersey is well worth it. The same with either some proper riding trousers or shorts as well. They're more durable, lighter, and more flexible and easier to ride in. Having just started mountain biking, chances are you're gonna be on your flat pedals. Now rocking up to the trail center in your fresh Yeezys is gonna give you style points, but you ain't gonna be gripping to no pedals. So investing in some solid flat pedal shoes with some grippy soles and a good base is well worth it. That's right. That's it then, that's our five pointers that will hopefully help you before you hit the trails for the first time. Now, if you wanna keep watching GMBN, do subscribe to the channel and also give us a thumbs up. If you're after some fresh merch, well also head over to our store.